Yes, if you're going to be stuck in a place, there are worse places to be stuck. <laughs> Welcome back to Travelling Books with me, Tanya, and everybody else. And here we are sitting outside in the glorious sunshine, blue skies. We've got our flag up. There. Sun canopies up. The sun's up. <sighs> and we've had a lovely potter around the site. Um, and there is a caravan mechanic on site who's going to come over and have a look at my motor mover for me, which is really, really handy. And the site owner is looking into garages for me for the broken car. So you never know, at some point this week, I might have everything fixed. You never know. Meanwhile, you can chill out in the sunshine. I've had next to no sleep last night. I literally couldn't close my eyes until about uh, 2 a.m. And then it was broken sleep anyway. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna relax until the mechanic gets here. Back in front again, four, three. That's got rings. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. There are definitely worse places to be stuck without a car. So here we are, cooking our fresco this evening. It's been a seriously lovely day. Um, we haven't done much of anything, of course we can't go anywhere, <laughs> um, but it has been very relaxing, of course the beautiful weather has been amazing and certainly helps to cheer everybody up. So I bought the induction hob outside and here I am caramelising mushrooms in the glorious British spring weather course accompanied by my trusty wine so what's the update um, the caravan engineer who was on site came and had a look on at my motor mover and it appears I need a new control board um, he has gone away to see whether he can find one to replace it before I leave here next Friday um, he has warned me they're hard to come by in the UK at the moment. So he may or may not be able to get one for me before we leave on Friday. Um, but fingers crossed he can and if he can't, it's not the end of the world. A motor mover does not make it absolutely vital for the smooth running of a caravan. When you're on site and you're pitched up, it doesn't really matter. It's just pitching up and stuff without it on your own is a bit more tricky. 
are certainly getting up my drive is a bit more tricky um as for the car blessing john who runs this group and organizes these events um, popped into town this morning and whilst they're popped into a garage um, to have a word with him about my situation um, they're horrifically busy next week <clears throat> but they have said if I drop the car off to them on Tuesday morning um, and leave it with them they should have it done before the end of the day they're going to give me a, a gearbox service and oil change um because everyone seems to think that's the issue um they can't give me a time they'll have it done by on tuesday but uh yeah i'm told the car's drivable as long as i don't reverse um, if I reverse, it's all going to start again. Um, it gets stuck in gear and you have to let it rest. So if it gets stuck in gear, we have to pull over and let it rest and then go again. Uh, it's only a couple of miles down the road, so we haven't got to go far. And John is going to follow me to the garage on Tuesday to make sure I don't get stuck anywhere. Um, and put it back to site. They are leaving on Tuesday, so I shall then just get a cab into town to, to pick it up again. Um, fingers crossed that that does the job. Otherwise, we'll be getting a lift home courtesy of Green Flag Mayday again. On the plus side, I, I did save money on fuel. <laughs> Nick, you've got to look at the positives in life, haven't you? It's a laugh or cry situation, I'd prefer to laugh. Yes. There are much more serious things to be moaning about. And, you know, if we're going to be anywhere stranded, this is not bad, is it? So there we have boiled gnocchi, mixed with caramelised mushrooms, a little bit of garlic paste, a little bit of chopped up sage leaves with a rocket salad and a homemade dressing of white wine vinegar, olive oil, salt and pepper. Tuck in. <laughs> Good? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so tired. Good evening. The lack of sleep last night was really, really catching up with me. Oh, and I've just heard some music starting up. At this uh, campsite, they do different events and weekend activities. I know next weekend they're doing a craft fair um, and car boot sale, which I really wish was this weekend because I love those. Um, but tonight they've got a Gary Barlow tribute act. <laughs> they're ticketed events and I know lots of our group have gone, um, not us. I could just hear him starting up now, so I've no doubt tonight we'll be listening to a bit of Take That. Which will be interesting. Oh, I feel infinitely better today than I did yesterday. Much less stressed um, and hopefully with a plan in place. I'm just hoping that none of it's going to cost me an absolute fortune. But what will be will be. Um, it will all come right somehow in the end. Uh, and it's, it's no bad thing that it happened when it did on the way to this particular campsite with these particular people because they are also lovely and caring and helpful. And everyone's been checking up on us. It's, it's just really, really sweet. Um, makes you feel warm fuzzies when you've got uh, surrounded by lovely people. That's why I love this group. So um, yeah, if anyone out there does have a Venus caravan and you're not yet a member, join the Venus owners group on Facebook because they are incredibly lovely people. You don't have to go into the meets, but I recommend that you do. And I suspect there are other groups for other caravan types as well. And these, these rallies or group meets are just lovely. Oh, come on then. Oh, oh not on my foot, Danny. Oh, 
There's Perry. <sighs> yes. Not being able to go anywhere has forced me to stop. Which is weird. <laughs> Very weird for me because I'm not a stop person. Um, yeah, we've got some sun today. <sighs> it's been beautiful weather. Absolutely mm. stunning. Uh, and it looks like we're going to have some more of the same for the rest of the week, which is, is great. Um, at some point I will take you on a tour of the site. <sighs> Haven't really much felt like it today. Um, but we had a, a lovely afternoon playing lawn games with some of the Venus group members um, and each other. And this boy of mine cheats like crazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> All fairs in life. Pardon? All fairs in life. All fairs in life? Yeah. Cheetahs never prosper. Yeah, they do. <laughs> but yes, I am now going to plan on an early night. It's nine o'clock now, so it's not that early. And by the time I finish this, it won't be that early, but certainly a lot earlier than last night. Mm. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Love you lots. I will see you in the morning. Bye.